Hey everyone, it's Krithika. Welcome back to my channel. I am in one of my dream destinations right now and a place I've been wanting to visit for a very long time, Norway. So I'm here for the next couple of weeks, a little more than that I think, and I have a really fun itinerary. I'm going to be spending uh, a couple of days in Bergen, which is where I am right now. And then I'm flying to Tromso from where I'm going to be taking a cruise, uh, which is like an 11-day cruise. So that's going to be super fun. And for a change, I'm not traveling alone this time. I'm traveling with my parents. Hi. Hi. So for a very long time, I've had this on my bucket list that I wanted to take my parents on a trip with me. And we're finally making it happen. So this feels very special. Excited to be traveling after a long time together. Oh uh, Yeah, I think the last time we were talking about it, uh, that all of us traveled together abroad was actually in Iceland back in 2018, which was really nice. So now for a change, I'm taking them around Norway and Iceland both. So are you excited for the trip? Very much, very yes, much. Yes, very excited. <laughs> Looking forward to this trip. And also we had a very um, adventurous journey to Norway. So we flew from Chennai to Dubai, Dubai to Copenhagen and Copenhagen to Bergen. But our flight from Chennai to Dubai got delayed. So we missed our connecting flight. So we ended up having to spend a whole day in Dubai because of that. It was my dad's first time in Dubai, so he enjoyed it. But yeah, we got one less day in Bergen now. But nevertheless, we're excited for this trip and we're going to make the most of it. Our hotel is right here next to the train station. So it's very conveniently located and everything is sort of walkable from our hotel. This is my room. I'm sharing it with my parents. So this is their bed and on the other side here is my bed and even though it's really late in the night right now look how bright it is outside this whole trip is sponsored by JEE Travels and they've organized the whole thing for us I've been in touch with them for the last couple of months just planning this trip and it's been such a smooth experience so they're a company based in Finland but run by Indians and they specialize in uh, tours in the Scandinavian countries so if you're planning a trip here definitely reach out to them in fact if you want to do a trip like ours they've actually given me a discount code I'll leave it on the screen here so if you use that you can actually get a 10% discount so be sure to use that code. So now that we landed one day late, uh, we have one less day in Bergen, which is unfortunate. But anyway, we have a very exciting day ahead of us. We're going to be doing a road trip and I'll tell you more about it when I'm in the car. <laughs> So it's the second largest city of the country uh, with its 280,000 inhabitants and we are surrounded by seven mountains. So we're out and about ready to explore Norway it's already looking so beautiful. So the plan for today is that we're actually doing a road trip to this place called Voss. From there, we're going to be taking a train, uh, two trains actually. The first train is from Voss to Meerdal and then another scenic train from Meerdal to Flom. And from there, we're going to be uh, doing a cruise and checking out the fjords. So today is all about nature and sceneries. So very excited for the views. is an hour and a half long from Bergen and it is just so scenic yeah. Maybe you could use a little break You've been working all day We could leave it on PCA And if the world's about to go boom Just don't think boom We can make it go So we've made it to Voss And because we started a little bit later than expected this morning We actually missed the train that we were supposed to take So now there's another train in one hour Which is what we're going to take But in a way it worked out Because now we're getting to explore Voss We're at this lake right now Which is just so insanely beautiful it's right opposite the train station here and it is just stunning. Summer beach, Malibu, headed down the coast. Papa Willie and I'm talking to the Holy Ghost. 97, 90. So our next stop here is this gorge. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can hear the sound of the water. It's pretty loud. to the station 
station didn't miss our train this time and this is our first train which is going to Meerdal. Uh, it's about one hour long and then we take another train from there. Thankfully this train is completely empty so we can move around and pick our seats and uh, supposedly on the first train the view on the right side is better and on the second train the view on the left side so we're going to be sitting, the train is going that way so we're sitting on this side. We'll leave it all behind and stop till the finish line will go together on this open road Yeah, Flam, running to catch our next train. Sleep underneath the stars, we'll go together on this open road. I'm inside the second train now which is called Flom's Bana and this is supposedly a very scenic train journey. This is one hour long uh, but unfortunately I didn't get a window seat so I'm just gonna try to stand and get some shots but this goes through a lot of tunnels but also uh, you get to see a lot of waterfalls and some really beautiful views of the river and it ends up in Flom. We've made it to Flom and that was actually a very scenic train journey. The views literally looked like it was out of some kind of postcard. Uh, I wish we got window seats though because we had to like just stand and enjoy the view so that was kind of a bummer. But yeah, totally worth doing this journey and try to come early and get window seats. I think that makes the journey much nicer. This energy is a mystery made of wonder You never know it's gonna make your heart go boom, 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 boom. Oh, I feel it. It's a thrill that's buzzing in my fingertips. I feel it. I feel it. Chasing the unknown. So, we had a couple of hours for a boat ride from Flom. So, right now we've come to this viewpoint called Stigus Time. I think that's what it's called. And this is the view from here. So our boat ride later today is actually going to be over here in this fjord. This is called, I think, the Narrow Fjord and I'm super excited for the boat ride. So we've stopped at another viewpoint along the way and how incredible is this view. We're about to do a boat tour now. This behind me is the boat we're taking. It's a two hour boat ride. It starts at Flom and ends in this place called Gudbangan and it goes through the fjords. So extremely excited for this tour. So 
we boarded the boat and it's actually really nice looking and bigger than I imagined. Mm. We're just waiting for the boat to start, picked up some snacks because we didn't really have time for lunch. and oh my god this boat ride I can't even describe it in words I think it's the most beautiful boat ride I've been on I've lost count of how many waterfalls I've seen on this ride and two hours just flew by it was absolutely breathtaking so how did you find the boat ride it was amazing yeah it was good very beautiful yeah, and have you seen something like this before? They have been to New Zealand, yeah. so they've sort of yeah. seen yeah, something seen similar. Wilford Sound in New Zealand. For me, this was like completely new. I've never seen anything like this, so I absolutely loved it, and it was so stunning. But anyway, uh, made it to Goodwangan now, just deboarding this boat and heading to the next stop. Walk with me, talk with me. Walk with me, talk with me. Talk with me for a little, just a little bit. On our way to the next stop, uh, we've come to this hotel right now. It's called Stalheim Hotel and it's a historic hotel. And the cool thing about this place is this amazing view. I feel like I could just sit here all day long and enjoy this view. You can see the entire valley from here and it's so stunning. Check out this view. for the day are these waterfalls called Twinderfossen. So on most days they look like they're twin falls, uh, so two separate falls but right now there's way too much water so it kind of just looks like one massive waterfall and it is so majestic. Check this out. with the tour and honestly I think it was one of the best tours I've done it lasted like 13 hours but Norway is just so beautiful and we did so many things today and our guide Roman was just amazing uh, he was so passionate about what he does and very patient with us so we had a great day but anyway uh, we're having dinner right now it's 9 p.m. but look how bright it is outside uh, we're in the city center of Bergen and as you can tell I'm actually eating at this restaurant called Baranasi. Uh, it's an Indian restaurant. There seem to be a bunch of Indian restaurants here in Bergen and my parents really wanted to have Indian food for dinner. So we've come here 
a really nice place sitting in what looks like the ghats of Varanasi uh, while in the city center of Bergen and the view from here is amazing you can actually see Brigin uh, right outside the window so yeah great evening so hungry because we haven't actually had lunch today how are you feeling you know tired and hungry but <laughs> yeah it was a nice day really enjoyed the sightseeing yeah, just waiting for food now. Aapka day kaisa tha, Papa? Yeah, it was quite long. In 13 hours, we left at 8. Eight, eight yeah. yeah. It's 9 o'clock now. Yeah. Feeling hungry. Yeah. <laughs> waiting for the food. Waiting for the yes. food. Riding on the skyline. I don't normally eat Indian food when I'm traveling. Uh, because of my parents were here but this is actually really delicious we got some samosa chaat some bengan pakoras and some garlic naan and uh, paneer and what else kofta it's a lot of good food right now. Ate so much food but that was such a well-deserved meal because we haven't actually had a proper meal since morning also Norway is just so expensive that meal I think in Indian rupees was for like 7500 rupees um, and we didn't even order that much food so yeah it is very expensive but anyway the time right now believe it or not is 10 30 p.m. this is how it looks right now so beautiful the Sun is probably gonna set in a couple of hours it never really gets dark here in the summertime so yeah it is very disorienting but anyway this behind me is Brigin and we're gonna be exploring Bergen tomorrow so you'll see more of this in my next vlog and we still have two more weeks of this trip so lots of vlogs coming up from here so keep an eye out for those videos do subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time bye